everyone, this is Nina, and today I thought that I would share with you some information that I found out on mock strawberries. We've been having this in our yard for years, and in some areas they're multiplying, and now I know why, and I thought I would share it with you. This plant is actually a ground-hugging perennial plant that spreads runners to make low-lying plants. They like moist woodlands and yards. People confuse them with native wild strawberries, but those have wider pink flowers, and the mock strawberries have yellow flowers. They're not poisonous, but you wouldn't enjoy eating them. They're kind of dull. The mock strawberry is an invasive plant, and they were brought to the United States to be used as ornamental plants from the Indian subcontinent. They make pretty ground cover when in bloom. Because of their invasive nature, they can be found all over the U.S. and Canada. Squirrels and other animals often help the plants by transporting seeds. The leaves of these mock strawberries look like real strawberry plant leaves. Their flowers have five petals and both the stems and the leaves look hairy. Some people say the fruit tastes like watermelon, but most say that they're just kind of bland. These plants do help the soil by keeping other weeds away, and that's why it was used so much as a ground covering when they first brought, were brought to the United States. And they also put nutrients back into the soil after the growing season is done. I thought it was really neat when I found out that they have medicinal purposes as well. You can make a poultice and it's made from the mock strawberry itself to treat eczema and other skin conditions. And the leaves can be dried and made into tea. They also can be used in jelly or jam making because when you put it along with other berries, you can add in quite a few to help with the cost because like if you're making a strawberry jam or jelly and you're purchasing them, you can go pick a bunch of the these wild mock strawberries and the taste won't impede the taste of the main berries being used. So that can be a cost effective thing for you. You can also make juice from them. It's amazing that they contain 6.3 milligrams of vitamin C when they're used as a juice. You can see here that right after the woodlands, they start coming all over the area in our bottom land. I think they're very, very pretty, not only when the flowers are in bloom, but when the strawberries themselves are in bloom. Just walking by, you just see little pops of red. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you on our next video. I hope that I shared something that you didn't know and that you can share with others.